The government of Uganda yesterday handed over 4,000 freehold land titles to residents of Chitumba sub-county, the raw west constituency in Kabale district. This took place at Kakomo Playground, presided over by the Prime Minister of Uganda, Honorable Nanabanj. <laughs> The Ministry of Lands, Housing and Urban Development, patent with the Global Land Tool Network and the United Nations Human Settlements Program, together with the Macquarie University School of Beauty Environment and the Kabale District Local Government to implement the project to register customary land. The project builds on the pirate projects titled Securing Land Tenure for Improved Food Security in Select Areas in Uganda, which was funded by the Embassy of the Kingdom of Netherlands in Uganda. While commissioning the distribution of land titles in Kabale, Nabanj warned the people of Kigezi against land fragmentation, which is a threat to development in many areas. Stop land demarcation, I mean land fragmentation. Now that you have a big land title, please don't demarcate and fragment your land among your children. He further stressed government priorities for the people of Kabale and Kigezi, saying that a lot is in store for them. Kuriakiturera, <laughs> Kakomo, Abu Sasa, Abu, Abu Hasa, eh, kumiba zomuru nyo. Chakari Mira, Buta Anda, Aisese Road, Oro, Emilio ni Ezadora Sanju, the deputy head of Mission Kingdom of Netherlands in Uganda, Just Van Etro, says that their intention in the project is to help developing countries solve challenges that result from land problems. Land tenure security is an important aspect in this context. So we started this intervention in 2017 through a pilot together with UN Habitat and Ministry of Lands. And now we're scaling up to assist the local government to issue 30,000 CCOs to the current project. And this project also encourages and supports the government in sustainable land use, climate smart land use, and sustainable wetland management. The Minister for Lands, Housing and Urban Development, Honorable Judith Nabako, and State Minister for Trade, Honorable David Bahati, says that the initiative is worthwhile for national development and it should be rolled out across the entire country. This program aims at registering customary land so that its users stop the land conflicts caused by boundary disputes and concentrate on producing food for the nation and for exports. Most of the 4,000 beneficiary families are smallholder farmers with customary land that is now demarcated and registered by government at the sub-county level. <laughs> The land conflicts that we had here, because we are now titling this land, it will reduce on the land conflict. <laughs> but also, it is land will stop being soil, but become an asset that you can use to secure uh, other resources to develop your homeland, your, your home. Itaka, 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 itaka
Echo wabasa kukoze esa Kandi kukatunga katende mubanga Beneficiaries have credited the government and partners for the intervention that will ensure better living in communities. Thing we have got land fragmentation in our villages and we are poor. The fragments are so small that surveying and using the normal channels is too expensive. Often times more expensive than the cost of the plot. So we find it very hard to have a title. And when you want to go to the bank or a loan, where you want to, to mortgage, they say bring proof of ownership. And it is very hard to bring proof of ownership. So we thank government for assisting us. In August this year, the government gave out 1,500 titles to be banja holders in the greater Ankara region at the Ambara Ministry Zono Office. A story by Jonah Namara, Nombatinya Machi for Kigezi TV.